So I looked up one morning, and it's like this giant inner tube was right here. <laughs> and I was like, what the? <laughs> right? The weight gain. Terrible. I went to the doctors several years ago, and the nurse patted my stomach, and she goes, are you expecting? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, and I said, I don't know if she I should did be it. insulted. Uh, serious. Oh. I don't know if I should be insulted because she thought I was, you know, chubby, or should I be flattered because she thinks I'm young enough to be pregnant? Oh, there you go. <laughs> right? So I'm going to right? take a positive on that. That's I a like good way that. to look at it. Yeah. I just experienced the weight gain just recently. I used to work out about three, four times a week, and now I joined Orange Theory and LA Fitness, and I'm going seven days a week, and sometimes I do a double header and do two hours, like one in the morning, one in the evening, because of the weight gain, and I'm freaking out, like, oh my God, this cannot be happening. I cannot. I cannot turn into my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her that. <laughs> wow, such honesty. Real talk here. We are wrapping up our five-part series, Take Back the Bedroom, with a frank discussion on sexual health and your sex life and how menopause affects all of it. And it does. It's time to ask the doctor. And of course, our two experts are back. They're sexual medicine and board certified gynecologist and our resident sexuality expert. That's a mouthful, Dr. Michael Critchman. And joining him is Dr. Alyssa Dweck, author and board certified obstetrician and gynecologist. By the way, they also co-authored The Sexual Spark. Welcome back to both of you. Thank Thanks. you. All right, these women, we just heard them. They are gaining weight. They're complaining. Uh, menopause affecting it, Dr. Dweck. How does, I get the hot flashes, I get the dryness. How does weight gain play a role here with menopause? Well, look, menopause can be something that causes some weight gain because of a drop in the metabolism and some hormonal changes, but it doesn't have to be all bad. Exercise, stress reduction, these are all helpful things. Dr. Critchman? Well, you know, exercise and sex go hand in hand. Touché. And I think it's really important to recognize that how you feel about yourself, your self-esteem is so linked to sexual self-esteem, how you view yourself as a sexy person. And we really realize that menopause is a variety of different symptoms. Some women have dryness, the hot flashes, some people forget you know, those words, I don't know where I left my keys, mm -hmm. or they have trouble sleeping. And again, very impactful symptoms for a, quite some time as well. And symptoms that can impact your sexual life at home, which you taught me and studies have shown that a good, satisfying sex life is not only positive, but there's a lot of benefits to it as well. Right, doctor? A hundred percent. And we know that sexual health and general health are very much linked. It's not just this emotional connection. We know sex is great exercise. I know that I would rather have sex than be on the treadmill for half an hour. I'm with you there. Here. And of course, we know that people that have good sex lives, less chronic disease, they uh, live longer, healthier lives, less cancer. So a lot of benefits. But there are some situations, Dr. Dweck, where women, unfortunately, people cannot have a good sex life because of medical issues going on. What are those? Right, again, sexual health and general health, they're completely intertwined. High blood pressure, diabetes, depression, cancer, these are all related to sexual health, just like they're related to general health. And don't forget medications. The average menopausal woman takes three chronic medications. Wow every day and those can impact desire, arousal, orgasm, and you know, they say orgasm intensity and latency. So menopausal women will say, you know, um, orgasm used to be thunder and lightning and now it's the pitter patter of rain and you're waiting and waiting with your umbrella oh and gosh. waiting. So there's a lot of impact that happens. So for those women where that's happening, how can we treat sexual dysfunction? Can it be treated? Well, of course, I think, you know, in my brain, I divide it up between sexual medicine and sexual psychology. So again, veins, arteries, nerves, there may be prescription medications, and as well, there's some simple solutions. I always say the number one thing I write on a prescription pad is a lock for the master bedroom door. Privacy, fatigue, kids, stress. Did I say kids? Yes, you did. Kids. And I know what that's Again, like. kids. And again, there's simple solutions that you can offer, things like the Fiera, the arouser. You can even use moisturizers and lubricants, safe, effective, non-hormonal products that are easily uh, obtained at the local pharmacy. Dr. Dweck, one that you like? Yes, I happen to really like Lubrigen, and I 
consider it to be kind of a system because there's a cleansing lotion, which is very helpful. It really helps with moisture. And then there is the Lubrigen cream, mm -hmm. which is wonderful used internally. And uh, women have a wonderful result from this. And again, I'd like to stress the non-hormonal aspects of this. And that's huge because Dr. Krishman, a lot of women are staying away from hormones. Whether it's correct or not, it doesn't matter. It's, a, it's an individual personal decision to do so. So this is non-hormonal. Of course. And I think it's really important besides not having hormones, it is very important to recognize what it does have. It has elastin, which helps with the elasticity, the stretchability, hyaluronic acid, which is very important for moisturizing. So important to read labels, see what is in the product and what is not in the product as well. So read number one, the sexual spark, read the labels, use lubrigen, and you will have your sexual spark back. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. This has been great having you guys. Doctor, for more information on Lubrigen, where do we go? They can go to LubriginUSA.com. Thank you so much. And of course, you can go to our website, as always, and that's TheBalancingAct.com.